and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be three really easy, straightforward, slow cooker freezer meals. I'm actually using chicken throughout all the dishes. We are going to do three freezer meals and we're going to do those in 30 minutes for preparation. Feel free to multiply the ingredients and do a big batch cook if you want. Everything is very easy, very straightforward, and I'll give you a few little hints and tips that I've used over the years with freezer cooking as well. If you're familiar with the channel, you know I'm a mum with five young little ones. These meals actually feed us as a family if I put it with a side, but I would say on average it would serve four to six adults. So check out the ingredients list before and just alter it as you feel fit. The method will also be down in the description box so that you can go off and you can make these freezer meals as well. Anyway, I'm going to get cracking and show you what all I prepared for the freezer. So first up, I found it really useful to get my recipe books out and my Ziploc freezer bags that I'd be using. And first of all, I like to put the date of the day that I'm actually making the dish. And that way I can figure out the expiry date when I pull it out of the freezer. Obviously the title of what it is, and if it's a slow cooker meal, I always put slow cooker beside it so it doesn't get mixed up with the other dishes. And then any directions that are necessary. It's very simple because it's just popped into the slow cooker, but this keeps things right in the freezer and then I've done that for every single bag so we're not back and forth I like to make sure that I've got all my equipment in place and that's measuring spoons chopping boards going into the cupboard getting all those spices it's nothing as annoying as finding you're missing something vegetables because we'll do the prep beforehand and this dish I'm going to be doing all the same quantities of chicken and it works out cheaper as well as saving time when you're making these freezer meals so first up, I like to use a little bowl and pop in my Ziploc bag. That way it remains steady and you can fill the contents without touching the sides or things over spilling. Particularly if you're putting things like raw meat in, you don't want that contaminating the Ziploc bag. I'm just going to take my chicken and snip it straight into it. A lot of these dishes, the chicken will be shredded once it's cooked. You can just cut it to the size you want. I like to use just one hand doing the chicken, the other steady in the bag or the bowl, eliminating any contamination. And so we have our three Ziploc bags all filled with our chicken quantities. That means there's no more touching raw meat and we can just wash our hands and the surfaces and get on with the food prep. So for the vegetables, I fill the same little jug with a compost liner. That means I can just chop and clean as we go. This makes everything quicker and I also make sure that the dishwasher isn't full as well. That is a top tip. So the first meal I'm going to show you is chicken teriyaki. It's a Chinese kind of feel to it, really nice and sweet. You can pack in absolutely loads of vegetables into it as well. And we like to serve it with noodles or else boiled rice. So we have got our bag that's already been labelled and the chicken dumped into it and we're just going to add our chopped veg. I've got one red pepper, some sweet corn and some sugar snap peas and I've also got two cloves of garlic which I'm going to crush into the bag. For a shortcut you could use a ready pre-done garlic and we're just going to mix that through, keeping the neck wide. I drop the vegetables into the bag to avoid touching the raw chicken and we're going to add in a quarter cup of soy sauce alongside a quarter cup of runny honey. So it is a quarter teaspoon of ginger and some chili flakes and of course some salt and pepper to season. So to prepare the bag for the freezer, I lay it down flat and then I put the Ziploc bag about three quarters of the way across and try and squeeze out any of the air but also avoiding squashing down the food. And then once I feel quite a lot of the air has been taken out, I just take the Ziploc bag right across and lay it down flat on a tray. And as you see it in the tray, that is how we're gonna store it in the freezer. It makes reading the label really easy and there's no spillages. The next recipe I'm going to show you is a good old faithful and that is chicken fajitas. We have made it quite moderately spicy so that it will be suitable for the children. So you can rank up the ingredients if you feel that you want to. And also we just serve that along very very basic with tortilla wraps, a little bit of sour cream and guacamole. So once again we've got that pre-done bag, no more having to cut up chicken. And we're just going to use our pre-sliced vegetables as well. So I've went for one onion and three peppers, a yellow and two red and it's just what I had in and we're just going to drop them into the bag avoiding touching that raw meat again 
And then for the wet ingredients, I'm just adding three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going by eye. You can measure it out if you wish. And then we're also going to go for a little bit of lime juice. About three tablespoons just gives it enough of a kick. And we add that in as well, trying to make sure we're not dripping any of the liquid on the side. And so for the dry ingredients, we're going for some chilli powder, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin and chilli flakes, and of course a little bit of salt. You can alter this as much as you want. So once it's measured in, I add it into the bag and I like to give it a little mix through. But of course it doesn't matter because you can mix it in the slow cooker. We know the drill now, we're putting it down flat and again we're getting any of that air out of the bag before we lay it down ready for the freezer. And the last dish I'm going to show you is chicken with lemon and pesto. The lemon just gives it that little bit of a punch and we just serve it really plain and simple with pasta and a little bit of garlic bread on the side. There are very few ingredients in this but it's a great one if you've got leftover stock or pesto. And so again, we've got the bag with all the information on it. And because there's liquid getting added, I keep it firmly upright. We're going to use a jar of pesto, half a jar, about 100 grams is sufficient. And I like to drop the pesto into the bag, making sure that the spoon doesn't touch that raw chicken again. If you've got any homemade pesto and you can't use it up fresh, this is a perfect way to do it. I'm going to use a full cup of chicken stock, and this is about 250 mils. Again, I'm just using OXO cubes and then you can drop it into your bag keeping it upright making sure that you're not losing any of that liquid and then we're going to add in for a little bit of kick half a cup of lemon juice and this really gives it a good bit of a kick try not to avoid this step as I found it's a thing that really lifts the dish again a little bit of seasoning just some salt and some pepper I'm eyeing it up but you can add as you wish and then I pull the ziplock bag right to the very end because there's a lot of liquid in this one and again we're laying it down flat make it sure to be a bit more cautious this time and I just gently ease the air out of the bag until we've got it suitable for the freezer and there you go we've got our three freezer freezer meals but took me about 30 minutes and you can multiply this dish and you will have loads more meals and so when the time comes you just pull your bag from the freezer read all of the instructions but it really is straightforward we're going to dump the contents into the slow cooker hence the term dump bag it really is as easy as that Follow the instructions, give it a little stir and then put it with a really nice side and hopefully you're going to have a really delicious meal that didn't take really that long to make. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe for more family meal idea videos.